serious issue. Three Nigerians have been arrested by the police in Tamale, which is in the northern regional capital, for allegedly selling adulterated chemicals, adulterated detergents on the market. The suspects were arrested on Wednesday upon a tip-off for marketing and distributing a formulated household cleaning detergent as mouthwash to the unsuspecting public. The three suspects, Sadiq Alutuji, Okpemi Samson and Mayowa Olamiloku are aged between 21 and 22 years. They are alleged to have recruited others in the business of selling fake mouthwash on the Ghanaian market for almost one and a half years now. According to the Food and Drugs Authority, the FDA, the light duty cleaner on an original product of GNLD has been formulated as a household cleaning product. But the suspects dilute the product into solution concealed in smaller bottles which are labeled as products for treating bad breath, foot rot and mouthwash. These guys around town offering this product for sale. That alerted the FDA. And it's as a result of the level of uh, public education that we've carried out. Now the public is becoming more and more vigilant. The public is becoming more and more aware of uh, public health issues. And so individuals are calling in, individuals are giving information about the various activities of uh, situations of, of I mean, different activities of companies like these guys, uh, which is a gang that is threatening the public health of, of our country. And now they've moved away from probably the big cities, they're moving to the, you know, the smaller towns. And interestingly, they always come with an offer of a job. We'll be charging them with section 111, 112, 113 and 118. 111 talks about prohibited sale of drugs, herbal, medicinal products, cosmetics, medical devices and other household chemicals. Section 112 talks about standards and it simply talks about where a standard is prescribed for a drug, herbal medicinal products, cosmetic, medical device, or household chemical substance. A person who manufactures labels or packages such products for sale or advertisements contravenes the law. That is where uh, you know we are going to hold them for adulterating these products. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go to the phone lines now, and um, it, it, this is a developing story. Let's find out what the FDA uh, has been saying about this particular development. We've been joined on the line by Ebenezer Kofi Esel. He's the director of the Food and Drugs Authority in the Northern Region. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you for your time. Hello, Mr. Esel. Hello. Yes, good afternoon, and thank you for joining us. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me. Please. Um, how serious is this issue of the detergents being sold as mouthwash and uh, how long have you monitored this particular development up until the arrest? Well, uh, thank you very much and let me use this opportunity to say a very good afternoon to your viewers. Uh, the FDA, um, well, uh, if we say how long have we been monitoring, uh, our monitoring activities is a daily thing that we do, it's a routine thing that we do. And... Um, if we find anything that is unusual, then we need to investigate. But this particular one, uh, I think uh, we, will, or we will say a very big thank you to a police officer who was very vigilant, um, probably due to the public education that we've been carrying out, the fact that you also give us platforms such as this to advise the public. I think he was very vigilant when he, when he saw these young men uh, selling the product in his community in Tamale. And so he quickly called uh, the office and told us about the activities of these guys, that he seen them running around and selling a product they claim belonged to G um, GNLD. And then looking at the product, the container, the information, the English, and all that, I mean the grammar, he's suspicious that this may not be a genuine product. And so he entertained them until the FDA officers arrived at the scene, and then we uh, got hold of them. And so um, our public education is very uh, positive. It's, it's yielding results. Okay. And, and I believe we'll continue with our 
uh, in that in that light, so that consumers will be vigilant, will get to know what uh, they should expect from any product that claims to be potent and is supposed to do what it's claiming it's doing. Okay. With we regards to its safety, I think there is nothing to write them about because mm -hmm. the indication they've given on the product is not what the product was meant for. So I told your reporter, you know, for these products or items that have been on the market for a few months now, at least a year and a half. And he says that the suspects have been arraigned for court. They are between the ages of 21 and 22, three of them. And so you are being advised to be cautious of what you buy and do read the labels of what you are giving.